Come on back here. Back here. Set the phone down. Hands behind your back. A 2019 NFL draft pick Justin Lane is just beginning his career on defense for the Pittsburgh Steelers, but right now it looks like he may need some defending of his own following a high-speed joy ride. Now he is facing several charges. Royce Jones is live now with the details on Lane's arrest. Royce. Well, according to police, what started as a late night high speed cruise ended with the Steelers cornerback being locked up and charged with a felony. On the shoulder of Interstate 90 in his 2020 Dodge Charger. <laughs> around 1 a.m. Friday, police in Willoughby, Ohio, pulled over and arrested Cleveland native and Steelers cornerback Justin Lane. Why are you going so fast? You got it. According to court records, officers clocked the 23-year-old racing 30 miles over the speed limit with a suspended license. He was placed in the back of the police cruiser on an outstanding arrest warrant for failure to appear in court over another traffic violation. Because I got to hurry up and get to my daughter, bro. Officers searched his car and found loose weed, a weed grinder, and a loaded Glock. Police later confirmed he does not have a concealed carry permit in the state of Ohio. And after having his cuffs readjusted, a little better? Yes, sir. Lane had a smooth ride to the county jail, cell phone in hand, where he received more traffic citations and was charged with improper handling of a firearm in a motor vehicle, a fourth degree felony. Well, I don't think there's going to be anybody else in the NFL on there. So. Unless you got a UFC fighter in there, I think you should be all right. Here, here, here. Lane reportedly told police he forgot the gun was in the car and thought he paid his fines. Police tell me he did post bond late Friday morning, though, and the two passengers riding with him during the traffic stop are not facing charges. A Steelers spokesperson tells me the team is aware of the arrest, gathering more information and has no further comment at this point. Meanwhile, some Steelers fans we spoke with earlier today tell me they forgive him. Live at Heinz Field, I'm Royce Jones, KDKA News.